Hi, this is Jen and Nova. From you don't see our faces because we're showing the dolls. Should have let me finish. Hi, this is Jen and Nova from Special Needs Kids Talk Radio, and we've just done three individual video reviews. Three of the Sparkle Princess line from Mattel. From Mattel and Disney that we picked up at Dylan's tonight. And right over here, that's our dog, Kiko, who wants to get in on the auction. But not a princess. But he's not a princess. Well, he acts like a princess. Okay, so, Miss Nova, what do you want to tell him? Um, all of these dolls have differences by their boxes and by their faces. Mm-hmm. And I love them. It's just one thing that I do not like. Like how you see. Like how you see. Come it out. Mm. Like how you see on every peep on um every doll okay, skin. Put her down and hold her. Okay. It's so hard. It is not soft to the touch. Yeah, okay. and it's like so hard for them to lift up. Okay. That's like number thing that I do not like. Okay, so they're pretty stiff. But what she was talking about, and I think this is really cool too. Um, each doll's face is styled differently. Yeah, you can tell by each different one. They even have a different kind of personality to them. If you look at their smile. Absolutely. And they actually have their own different style. You can you can go by row by row. Okay. So in an earlier video, Nova mentioned something about their icons. What she meant by that is on Cinderella's dress on the front, she has a heart. And on Aurora's dress, she has, she has a rose. rose. Yeah, a rose. And then on Merida, she's just got she's got like a little round circle. Yeah, that maybe like, like a shield. Yeah, maybe a shield. Yeah, it looks like key. a shield to me. Yeah, she does um archery. So I think those probably all correspond to the movie as well. Yeah. Um. Okay, one other thing I'm noticing is probably that. I don't think their crowns necessarily match their photos very well. No, but they are good, unique, and stuff. Oh, sure, they're really pretty. And of course, of course, um, I think like the two matching backgrounds is um Aurora's and um Sleeping Mirda's. Beauty. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mirda's Sleeping Beauty and Mirda's because they like have the same different color, but not like the same background and castles. Okay. Yeah, what she's talking about is the the cardboard inside. The background corresponds to each the doll. The details and stuff. And we mentioned that in an earlier video, but let me show you real quick. Merida has definitely a Scottish castle. Yeah, it's, like a, like it's snowy. It's very round and it's a snowy scene because it was cold there, wasn't it, during the movie? Yes, I think so. Okay, and, and then... then uh, and then Sleeping Beauty slash Aurora's castle. That is her castle in the background, and it's a very light in day. Uh-huh. It's a... Obviously, like, a sunny day in the realm, and it's a very princess-like, pointy yes. castle. Yes, The same thing, kind of, with Cinderella, um, very um, much a princess well, castle. Well, I think because of the pink, it looks like it's like a sunset. Okay, okay. Um, and then you see her castle, where she lives with the um, Prince Charming now. And then, basically, it looks like it's a sunset night. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, and then... Here's our last princess. Isn't he just so cute? No, it's not <laughs> Kika. Okay. He's not a royal princess. He's not even part of Mattel. Okay. Is there anything else you want to say? Um, no. I think that's all for tonight. Okay. Well, wave goodbye. Bye-bye.